welcome back to our October cast challenge. Today's the 23rd, which means our prompt word is rip. There was a lot of instant brainwave moments for this word. Uh, I thought that I would do rip grunt, maybe. I could do someone who was like really ripped, like muscular, but I already did that for trap. So what I'm going to go with is like vaguely inspired by like 90s nirvana e punk ripped clothes essentially ripped clothes is where we're going with this obviously it's not going to be an exact exact replica of anybody in particular but i think we can we can do good we can do good with this do well i don't know why am i picking the skin tone out first i don't know because i want to all right no i don't okay so eyebrows okay I definitely wanted to be Ooh, those are a little buggy I'll have to fix those like I'm thinking like a bit of a snot-nosed kid can I can I make that like Ooh, I didn't know I could do that Okay, sorry. Every time I discover a new slider, I'm very happy. I kind of like this. I like his squishy little face. But yeah, he's a bit of a snot-nosed brat. Probably has a trust fund. Moans about how his life is so hard. Am I projecting all the kids I went to school with in a certain high school? No. Never. That's not what simming is for. Actually. Getting bratty eyebrows. Yeah. Better. Seriously though, I went to school with some rich kids that you kind of just wanted to chuck them in the bin a little bit. Not, not like in a mean way, but in a like, you need to learn some life lessons kind of way. They were so, like, spoiled to the point like you wouldn't believe. And they thought their lives were so hard. I remember one girl was like, I didn't get to go skiing this weekend because my mom took me horseback riding. Or, actually. I, I think that's what it was. I think that they actually went to, like, New Mexico for the weekend. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how the wealthy live. It's definitely not a lifestyle I've led. Uh, and yeah, and she was, like, totally upset. She thought it was the end of the world. It wasn't fair. I was like, okay. That's a thing that's happening. Pro tip, never go to a school where there's a bunch of rich kids and you are the poorest person there. Not fun. I know nobody has really a choice in that, but still. And again, they weren't bad people. They just didn't have life experience. But, yeah, I guess it was alright. It would have been better if it was an, actually a better school. Was not. Was not. Literally when I got there and they were like helping me pick out my classes or whatever the math classes that I was taking I was taking like when I lived in Reno were light years ahead of what I was taking in Montana when I got there like the classes that they put me in were stuff that I'd done in seventh grade possibly sixth grade and so yeah small town schools are not the greatest that wasn't even a small town school. Alright, let's get him. No, his teeth should be straight. We would have access to dentists. Okay. I kind of want to make him a teen. I don't know if I could save him as a teen, but I kind of want to make a teen. Oh, except if he's a teen, I bet I can't put the lemonade skin on him. Rude. 
That's rude. Okay. Fine. Young adult. But like, 19 years old. Very freshly a young adult. Give him some really dark brown hair. Can we get him some like, scruffy scruff? Like, not heavy scruff, but like... Scrubby scruff. That's that's a thing, right? Scrubby scruff. I don't know. Ooh, we can give him a neck beard. Kinda think that's funny. Or do we want to do that instead? Oh, oh, that's better. That's better. Okay. I don't like that skin on him. I like that skin. Weirdly enough, that's one of my favorites because it's, it's realistic. But. Does he stay up all night playing video games? True questions. He is monolithic, so I want to keep that. Oh well. We'll give him those. Now I need a hair. We need longish hair. Well, let's check out these first. Hmm. I don't have any reference photos for this, which is probably a mistake. Someone's gonna go, that's not 90s. It's inspired. Inspired. Let's do that. Maybe a shade darker. Yeah, let's do dark brown hair. Bro, you are not going to be that fit. I'll tell you that right now. You need like an actual human body here. Is that so I don't want to see his ribs like that's there we go that was a little scary for me not comfortable with that all right so just like I'd like an oversized t-shirt would be the ideal but hoodies are good too the ironic tie-dye I do love an ironic tie-dye. Should I look up clothing references? All I can think of are the pants that are like crazy baggy. I do remember wearing things like that though. I wasn't like an early 90s kid, I was born, yeah. born right before then. But I remember later 90s, and I weirdly remember 80s stuff, because it was still around. Because fashion doesn't magically change all at once. Oh. There we go. Some saggy pants. He needs, like, a band t-shirt or something. Forget it. We're Googling. We're Googling. I just want to get the aesthetic right. I feel like I'm failing. Firefox, where are you at? Thank you. Oh, do I just start all over? Sorry, I was doing something else before my computer crashed earlier today, and I'm annoyed. Um, 90s. 
teen fashion boys. Images. Windbreakers! I totally forgot about the windbreakers. Okay, so the jeans need to be more high-waisted. Okay. But they are... They are wearing jeans. They're just very high-waisted. Oh, what about board shorts? I see some board shorts. I see a picture of someone in yellow shorts just like this. Cool. And now I need a baggy t-shirt. Wait, what was that? Where did that go? Where did that go? I just saw something that was like, perfect. Wasn't this. like a denim jacket with like patches all over it. That. Is that? Because denim was in. But I think the t-shirt's the better way to go. Those shorts have a better color. Yes, they do. He looks so whiny. I love it. Those shoes. Higher socks! Do I not have these in white? Why would I not have those in white? There we go. Alright, so this is our... We're gonna say he's a 90s whiner trust fund kid who thinks life is unfair and nobody has life hard, as, a life as hard as he does and... No. Sincere feel. Okay, actually this just turned it around for me. He does have a, li a hard life because his mother named him Sincere. <laughs> so I'm gonna say he's really into music. See, we're making him a little redeemable. Singer? Yeah. So... I don't think I have like a gloomy gust trait now, do I? We will make him creative. I hate that it snaps you up like that. We're gonna go with over emotional if I can't find like a Debbie Downer trait. Like a full on Eeyore. Now I have Nirvana stuck in my head. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, it is cool. Big fan, but obviously, I don't really remember anything about their fashion. It's fine. I don't remember a lot about things, unless it's Tudor era fashion, and then I, I, you got me. You got me hooked. We could make him high maintenance. Rebellious. So he's over emotional, rebellious, but creative, and he wants to be a voice virtuoso. And his mother named him Sincere, and it's been downhill from there. <laughs> That's what we're going with. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you appreciated my nonsensical rants again. Uh, also, I'm totally being playful and kidding. There's no offense meant here. And if you have any comments or suggestions, definitely leave them down below, and I will see you in the next one.